So here you are. Look at everybody behind you. Say hi. So you're here with, you've been yeah. in Tampa, you've been here we are in Kissimmee with yeah. uh, Governor Palin. Why are you here? I'm here today to get people rallied up in her support. She doesn't need any help. There have been people lining up outside of these stadiums today. This is the most, uh, I mean, outrageously excited crowd that I think I've ever seen. And I've been to a lot of You got them really excited out there. So let me, let me ask you this because, yeah, by the way, I've been watching The View on a regular basis. Now, Joy called me dangerous. What was that all about? She, I'm not quite sure. You're a teddy bear. You're a teddy bear. Oh, I'm a teddy bear. All right. Now, one of the things you brought up as you were talking today, you talked about how Governor Palin is being treated a little bit differently. Yes. Explain yes. that. Well, first of all, I don't think anyone can uh, deny the fact that the media has been incredibly sexist in their attacks on her. We've got a lot going on right now. I find it, I find it a little peculiar that they're focused on her shoes and can't find a reporter to head out to Tony Resco's place. I bet you most Americans don't know about that, right? Well, of course not. We're, uh, it's a little interesting that the media just, aside from you, has not covered that. Isn't that the job of the media, to go out and investigate and, and vet these, the people who are running to, to be in the White House? I thought it was, Sean. I'm a little disappointed lately. Well, but let's talk about that, because in other words, they spend more time on Governor Palin's clothes and shoes than yeah. there are about some really, really, you know, I would argue, you know, questionable relationships with Ayers and Wright and yeah. Resco and some of these other things. You can't ask that. Well, I do. That's awesome. And you brought it up. I, I watched you in a couple of battles over this very issue. Well, I think that Americans have the right to know. They have the right to make up their decision. They have to make the right to make up their own minds. Mm -hmm. But they should be able to ask the questions. And for some reason, we're, we're now in a, in a country where you can't even ask about the connections that this man has had. He's, he's left no paper trail. Right. We can't. He's left out chapters of his life. Yeah. And yet we're ready to put him in the White House. And the media wants to focus on wardrobe. It's, it's absurd. You know, look, I, I watch The View regularly, and we always love it when you're on Hannity and Combs, and she uh, comes on. Whenever we can get Elizabeth I'm on Hannity and Combs. I'm watching you every night. You know where I am at All nine. Right. But you now, you asked probably Barack Obama the toughest question about Reverend Wright. Yes. You really said, what about this association? Yes. And what does it mean in terms of your judgment? Mm -hmm. And he, that was a very uncomfortable moment. I think one of the more uncomfortable ones in the campaign. It, it was uncomfortable, but I don't think this is a time to get comfy, and I don't think it's a time to be quiet. I think we should be asking these questions as you have. You've been fighting for that, Sean. I don't yes. think you've been fighting for anything, but to just get to the bottom of this and get the truth, America deserves it. And for some reason, people are afraid to ask, and they're not getting the information they deserve. Yeah, I agree with that. By the way, you, did you really get in trouble for wearing, because I have your senator uh, oh, the Great American. The Great American. I got her T-shirts, yes, which, yes. by the way, is on uh, your, um, you know, the McCain it's website. It's on the McCain website. Yeah, I got in a little bit of trouble for wearing was it. Was it real trouble or just? It wasn't big yeah. trouble. You know. Now, they by were... the way, I was hoping that that you would say Rosie O'Donnell wishes she could be here. I know you did. I know for you. <laughs> I'll say it now. Rosie O'Donnell wishes she could be here. See, you That's know, it, it just see? didn't have the same effect. It doesn't have. Yeah. <laughs> There's no microphone. They can't hear us behind. You gave me good advice, and let I have let to me, thank let you. Let me talk, because. You, you have had most of the candidates on The View. You've had Michelle Obama, Barack Obama. You've had uh, Senator McCain a couple of times. Yes. Cindy McCain has yes. been on The View. Uh, why did I think the toughest interview was against Senator McCain? And I'm not, I'm not one, you know, I know when I go on The View, I get beaten up by everybody but you. Uh -huh. So You do a good job handling it, though, yeah. I will say that. The, um, you know, I, that was a tough interview. It was a yeah. tough day. It, it, you know, I, I tried to ask a fair question. Um, and... It, I, since accepting the nomination, Barack Obama has yet to come back to The View, as Senator McCain did. And it, yeah. I, I think it's, the focus is more on why hasn't he come back? Is he afraid to face tough questions again? Mm -hmm. what's, what's there to hide? I say come back, answer the questions, because right. I'm going to have them.